It's a little thing, you know. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy from Game Yu-Gi-Oh podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Braggia. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, ben. I didn't play locals on Tuesday. You didn't because it was a public holiday and I chose to go to Sydney. Yep. Uh, social life and shit. And then today was sneak peek, and yeah. I came second. You did. You did. I pulled garbage. We all did. But I came second. This gives the sets trash. Yeah, the set's not great for pre-con, to be honest. The it's... set's not great. End of sentence. <laughs> no. Um, the set's fine. It's not our greatest set that we've had. It's definitely not the greatest set that we'll have this year, because yeah. it's being bookended by two really good sets. But, I mean, you're building a deck from the set, so it can't be all that bad. Realistically, I'm building a set from an old set. They've just given consistency. <laughs> But Same. Did they have an OTK before? I mean, FTK? No. No. So you, you're building it because of the new stuff. But you're FTKing because of old stuff. The new stuff's when just are, consistency. When are you? They stopped releasing new stuff to do FTKs. They don't do that too much anymore. They just do little little burn damage so you can win Those your time. Were the days. Those were the days. No, they weren't. Brag. They'll keep um, making them. Leonardo won, by the way. Yes, yes, he Because he pulled the well, actually, entire Morelia call. Cool. Well, that's not entirely true. He may have won the sneak peek, but I think in terms of who won the day, that title has to go to Tom. Yeah, Tom pulled a classic Tom move and showed up, didn't enter the sneak peek, talked mad shit, and then once we were all playing the sneak peek, was like, I'm bored, I'm going to buy a box, and pulled the Visa Starlight. Worth about 700 US, uh, no, 700 Australian dollars. Yeah. Currently. It's a, it's a very Tom move. What's well, I mean, he did the DD Crow. Mm -hmm. He had the... Yeah, there was one between now and then as well. He's had a few. He's had a few. I swear I, I swear it's every set, but it's definitely not. Oh. It feels like it. Yeah. Um, I was building Pearly here. As I've been all week, to be honest. It shouldn't take that long to build Pearly, but here I am. Just I mean, it's what, got five main deck monsters? Other than hand traps? That's an exaggeration. It's two. <laughs> well, you're playing the new one as well. Two different monsters. Yeah. Yeah, two different, but five total. And thank you to the Jaco for supplying them, because I wasn't able to make it up. Well, you know, I was able to make it up. I yes, just... I tried very hard to source those commons that nobody else wanted. <laughs> Which is wild, because the deck's pretty alright. So, I had... I pulled two of the monster in my sneak peek packs. Yeah. I played them, because you can normal summon it and search the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Yep. That's, um... Deck thinning. <laughs> Search the 100 attack monsters. It's the new Stratos. Mm -hmm. Without being level 4, or hero, or spell and trap removal, or good. <laughs> oh, no, it's good, it's good. It's alright in that deck. Ah, uh, yes, I'm pretty keen. I mean, it won't be legal for next locals, so I won't be next locals. But after that, I think I'm in for this format. Good, 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 good. good. Uh, so yeah, I bought uh, two boxes today, didn't pull anything of what I wanted, um, did pull some of the more expensive stuff, but um, yeah, I'll need to sort of work on trading that away to get the stuff that I actually want. Um, and yeah, Tuesday, how did I do Tuesday? I think I went next one Tuesday. I don't know, there really wasn't much going on on Tuesday. Did you end up here on Tuesday? Yeah, did anyone actually go on Tuesday? No, I... Uh... I don't think so. I right. think we, we had a locals, but it was small. Oh. I think it was like a four-person local. Oh. I remember seeing on one person put in the chat going, wait, is anyone coming? Because <laughs> I'm here, and there's no one. Oh, okay, so yeah, at least we did have a small small number of local people turn up. Um, yeah, and I do remember I did make it into the final. Because we didn't have life points demonstrated, I sort of threw game one. I got Josh down to 500 That's life points. That's a classic Jake move. You just refuse to calculate life, ever. Yeah, I kind of forget. If, no, no, no. If no one else gets life points out, you'll just be like, I'm doing this, I do a thousand, I do this, I do a thousand, I do this. Cosmic Cyclone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get to the end of the game, you're like, hmm. Well, you see, I've already taken 8,000 damage because I forgot about that Cosmic Cyclone. Hmm. <laughs> I activate eight Cosmic Cyclones. Th these points never get brought up outside of a podcast, by the way. So it just saves them up for an hour each week and then decides to give me shit. Mm hmm. So you now you got to start thinking of defences for any possible argument against you. But he brings up bullshit arguments. Think of the bullshit arguments too. Get ready to scrap. Ah, uh, yeah, scraps. 
<laughs> you just need to have some more self-awareness, Jake. <laughs> if you're more self-aware, you know the jabs I'm going to take on the podcast. How about you just don't be a, a shithead? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that's food for thought. Anyway, um, so moving on to some news. Uh, first, we start with Marcel, as per usual. Uh, so we are just about at the end of the Attribute 4 Festival. Have we each got our Maori Cannon dudes? Yes. That's about as far as I Is want to go into it. Is it the Maori Cannon? It's Maori something. I'm going to search it now. I thought you were explicitly saying Maori. 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 I can't say Maori. I don't even know how to spell it. Is it? M-A-O. There's a there's a there's a there's a dash. Oh, there's a there's a whatever this is. Anyway, but that's the mate. Um, I did get him, and then I pretty much stopped playing from there. Um, but we do have some news about the upcoming stuff. Oh, you know what, Jake? Guess what? When I woke up this morning, I was like, I'm gonna just like randomly open some packs and master all, and then realize that we're about to get a new set. So I was like, this I'll wait for idea. the podcast, and Jake's gonna tell me what's in the new set. Yes, yes, he is. Um, it's not uh, cash. It is a bunch of stuff that really doesn't apply to anything that's been announced so far. Oh, the pendulum get the, Man, that's the, the dragon, the the Zephyrus. Excuse me. The, the, the link, the link dragon. Yeah, we do get Zelantis. Um, at this stage, it doesn't Zephyrus. look like they've announced any of the um, Dragon Zephyrus. Slayer pendulum support cards. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like we're getting the Blackwing stuff. Oh wait, no, sorry, that's not a Blackwing card. Never mind. Um, That's a black card. No, it's not. It looks like a black card, but it's not. That's an eight up made up name. That's a black card. <laughs> Shut up. Um, oh, yeah. Spellbound. Yeah, we get Spellbound, which is nice. I mean, they've nerfed Slunder to absolutely deadly. Yeah, I might. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't do what I thought it does. For a second, because it mentioned racing, I thought it was a fucking gold like pride card. Pride already? <laughs> yeah, imagine. Oh god. Um, yeah, nothing of what has been leaked from this set so far gives away a lot. Um, we do seem to get the uh, card that you're chasing in real life. Axel. So if you can't have it in dragon. real life, you can have it on here. What if I can trade the someone same. a real life copy for a fake one? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Um, you're supposed to tell me that's bullshit, Jake, and we're going to go down an NFT talk. <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. laughs> I mean. I haven't looked into it because obviously I have no interest, but I wonder how easy it or otherwise it would be to sell your Master Lord account. Good point. Because you can sell Pogo accounts. I think, though, your Master Lord account's linked to your Cosy ID. Yeah. Only so. if you do so. Mine's not linked to it, my Cosy oh, ID. Mine is, because then I could access it from Ah, the so you've cut and... yourself from the market then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now I can play it on PC and my phone. Oh, speaking of phone, did you see what yeah, you got I, tagged in? I did read that. Have you fixed it? I forgot to do it. Ah, see? Ben's going to be competitive I'll, in... What is it? Um, you can... Um, you have to go into the setting. actual settings to be able to change your toggle on off. For oh. thing. Yeah, so um, it has a preset of like only auto, alphabetical order chain. But if you go into the settings prior to you actually entering a door, you yeah. can change it. But, but you don't have the quick option. You don't is... have the quick options, despite the fact that it's right there on the screen. Yeah. No. Yeah, not there. Um, going a bit further down, there is one little bit of support that's interesting. We get the new um, fur high cards in the next set. Why? What do you mean why? The cards are great. Runic fur high. Yeah, runic fur high is very much a deck. Yeah, but why? <laughs> Did you, this, I don't want to play. Yeah, look, runic bandit master jewel. Honestly, I, time. since they made the hits to Runic in Master Duel, you see far less of it. And also, the arrival of Tier Element, you see a lot less of it. I considered scrapping it this morning. I was like, should I? Nah. What's what's the worst can happen? It becomes more valuable when they limit more of them? But also upcoming, uh, we have the next solo mode. And it's an interesting one. I didn't see it coming. Mm-hmm. Subterra. Hey! <laughs> I, I see what you did there. You didn't see it coming. Because it's set face down. I hide my cards under the water. <laughs> Except in this case, they're I'll under the to, ground. I'll have to go back to my notes from my decks this, in five minutes. This must be a card from, like, a much re- more recent set, or it's a very terrible sub because I've never seen this card before in my life. That's a terrible sub-terror. Sub-terrible. Okay, that makes sense. It is sub-terrible. 
suboptimal. <laughs> Brag me the joke first and use no salt in. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did do that. That was a big cheer for the Bulldogs. And it looks like in that um, solo mode we get the new sub terra card that isn't a sub terra card. Um, Terra's in the Hidden City. Why they didn't make this searchable within the archetype, I don't know. It's already bad. It's not a terrible card. It'd just be nice if they could search it. I see what you did there. Not everything that I've said in relation to Subterra is a pun. Okay? Okay. Unless. I did know. Um, Unless. Oh, we did get a, the Water Extender level 4 as well, the little fishy dude. Yeah, um, yeah. He was a TCG exclusive from what I remember, isn't he? See. Yeah. So Spellbound. Yes, true. Very true. Oh, yeah. yeah or yeah, yeah, Spellbound. Yeah. If only you could activate it from hand. Yeah, I. If. It's still a good card. Yeah, 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 it has its place. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all that's going on on Master Duel, although we are uh, a little over two weeks away from the start of WCQ qualifiers, so it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. Um, moving on to the physical card game, not a lot of news going on this week because we obviously had a big-ass dump from last week. Um, we do know all five Starlights now from uh, the current set. Uh, we've got uh, Guiding Quam... Uh, Despian Lulu Walilith, uh, the new Firewall Link 6, uh, the Link 3 Gold Pride, and Beast of Starfrost, which was already announced. We're coming back to this, by the way. Um, <laughs> a few missed opportunities on the Starlights. Look, it's, some they people aren't happy suck. with them. Yeah, they they're just... Uh, <laughs> did they even think about this set? I don't know, it just... There were definitely better choices they could have made for some of them. Like, I don't think that Gold Pride really needed another um, Starlight. And even then, I don't think the rank three was the one to choose. In the scope of Yu-Gi-Oh! history, no one's going to remember this set. Mm. I'm going to remember it for the pearlies. The commons. I guess we don't remember... I, th I think you're going to remember it as pearlies. This will be the third set you think of when you think of pearlies. Yeah. I don't know. As much as you don't care about it that much, I feel like it does make a big impact to brand it because they now have... Uh, a lot more they can do off turn that doesn't involve fusion something. You know what made a really big impact for branded and still hasn't been touched? The branded structure deck. Yes. You know what also made a better impact for branded? The set that I've already forgotten about that had Luber in it. Oh, when we get to British. Again, this is at best the third best set for branded. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, forgettable. What was Roxy's in? Now, Roxy's was a special edition promo in, um, I keep wanting to say in yeah. or... No, but then it was a common in the set after, but we never talk about that, we just, yes. we never talk about prank kids anyway. More than yeah. We, we but... used to a lot. Till they yeah. got hit and then we stopped. And it's just yes. one of those ones where, oh, and a random set has the two extra cards. Oh, yeah. and that's what this set seems to have, it just has a couple extras. There's no, mm. I mean, the archetype that starts in this is shit, isn't it? Yes. Um, well, it's the firewall stuff, that's the big highlight of that's it continuous that's a continuing isn't there a new archetype in this that i hated the best card in this set is this super rare oh um yeah mana mana the mana the is the new one the visa synchro stuff and it sucks it doesn't suck look that day it's a worse than scarecrow will entirely live in youtube combo videos <laughs> it's a worse than scarecrow yeah God, I yeah. hope a new set comes out relatively soon. So Wait, there's Liberances in this? this. Uh, you get the continuous ultra that the OCG gave them. June, Jake. In June, we get dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know what's worse. You talking this one down to a point of, like, ridiculousness, or you just continually talking about fucking dinosaurs? I'm going to get I... a solid month and no, like, of Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I'm out. As soon as those dinosaurs are here, I'm out. I could very <laughs> realistically play that dinosaur deck at Oshis. Hmm. Christ. This is not going to be enjoyable. So anyways, I'm sure there's um, a billion other options of Starlight, though, surely. Well, yeah, you've got Chaos Angel. Um, uh, that would have been a better one, although it's only a one of. Mm -hmm. um, and what's also only a one of? The branded one that they printed. Yeah, that's an ultra. And it's an ugly card art, so I'd actually prefer it not to be. You know what's also a one of? The other branded card they made of Starlight. The Vistial. You mean the Dogmatic card? What is this card? No, the Bist I thought they printed the Bistial Synchro as a... Yeah, what are you saying branded for, though? 
How is the best deal? The first time. They're all the same fucking thing. <laughs> Literally. They're all the same thing. <laughs> Surely Pendulum pen- Pendant could have said Banish 3 face up Pendulum. No, 5. All yeah, of but them. No, but surely it could have said 3. It could have, but it doesn't. It says 5. Banish all of them. Oh my god. I don't know how in this day and age you're getting 5 face up Pendulum monsters in your extra deck without, like, negging hard. No. Yeah. Hard destruction. Huh. They don't. No. Ima- Ima- <laughs> That's I- not how that works, Ben. Then why does Macrocosmos stop them? Because Yu Gi Oh, Ben. Welcome to the game. Here we are. Where the rules are made up. Here we and are. The life points don't matter oh. until you're dead. Double, hook- double hooking should have been a Skyline. <laughs> double hooking should have been at least a foil. Yeah, it's super, nice super. super. Yeah. That's alright. I'll get an OTS super eventually, I'm sure. Yes. It may not be in this decade, but. <laughs> no, no, no. It'll be in the next one. You know what they've been doing lately? Literally printing cards with foil upgrades a week after their release. Yeah, th- but this is the thing, Ben. It's actually quite smart because they realise that although they promise an OTS to be available at a certain date, they actually have no intention of giving it to you until a month and a half later. We also see then they just give you the last one again by accident. Yeah, yeah, that's always fun. Anyway. English <laughs> Uh, so, uh, we are approaching May, and therefore approaching... This what? guy's this guy's cooked. I love it. And the art is amazing. And the name. How did I get here? Yeah, we talked about that last week. It's quite funny. I would have preferred if it didn't activate the field spell. If it just let you add the field spell, then you could have a lot more options for good field spells. Does it stop you from just being able to go field spell into field spell into field spell? I mean, you still have to wait for your monster to be destroyed. Like, mm. it's not completely free. But and you can just do it by battle, so you can just run over. Don't you like how that also says place in your field zone, thus implying you don't get the effect on activation, as opposed to metaverse, where it says activate? Well, the thing is, most field spells that have a search function are when. I don't care. <laughs> they got activated. <laughs> anyway... Uh, so, as I was about to say before, uh, we are in May, and therefore within the possible three-month range of a potential ban list. Uh, so what are we thinking is uh, potentially going to happen with this ban list? What do you feel needs to be addressed? What do you feel can come back? We're going to do the ban thing first, where I say it, and then you guys copy me. No, I already have Bullshit. it. Bullshit! Go, Jake. No, hold on. You Go. weren't first last time. I, I told you. first. Actually, because I get impatient, you guys start talking, and I'm like, this, 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 this. See, but we can actually go back, and you actually went first. Yeah, no, fuck that. Fuck that. You see, remember, fuck that. Last time I went first, you didn't, and then Brag went second. Yeah, absolutely didn't. And then Jake's didn't get to be on the podcast because the podcast stopped halfway through when he was talking. (laughs) Then how can I copy you if it didn't happen? Exactly. Yeah, I don't remember him doing. Jake went back to his home planet. That's how that podcast ends. Yet another one of the CFG members that doesn't often watch the podcast. <laughs> it's the end of the podcast. Which was halfway through Jake's discussion. I'm fairly sure he says like three words and it's like the end. I don't remember last week's podcast. I was like in the room. Three months ago. Oh well, yeah. But anyway, so that Ben can't uh, get on his bullshit rant when we do the band this podcast and say we all copied him. Uh, what I feel would happen with this most recent podcast... Um, I feel as if uh, they might tap Cash Tira. So, in what way they do that, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like. Just based on the most recent podcast. Hmm? Just based on the most recent podcast. Oh, did I say podcast? You I certainly did. did. I didn't mean to say that at all. Based on the recent meta, is what I should say. Um, I feel like Cash Tira could probably take a tap. I'm not sure in which way they would address it. I feel like of. Either Unicorn or Birth, one of those two needs to be addressed. I feel like Birth's probably the worst card, because it helps them rebuild the, rebuild the board a lot easier. Um, but Unicorn also gets them to that. Um, so, possibly Unicorn to one, possibly Birth to one. Either way, same thing. Um, but of the of that deck, I think the bigger problem is probably Diabolsis. Um, just being able to look at your opponent's extra deck and take out any potential issues before the game's even started and then just milling out the deck in between that. Like, no one's really even playing the zone lock until you get to, like, um, regionals and, and stuff like that and then it seems that like everyone wants to play that version. Yeah. Except for the fact that 
I'm just playing average. Yeah, I'm a good person. Ben, what? what was it you were doing 10 minutes ago? Was it putting together an FTK? Well, you see, the six Samurai FTK pieces are on top and not in the deck. But that's where they're going, isn't it? Ah, uh, depends. Are they going to do any... Are they going to touch any of the, super, the, the Samurai stuff? I don't think they'll address it super early. I think they'll let it play oh, out. I see what you did there. Oh, shut up. Not everything is a pun. What if they go a little heavy? <laughs> I mean, if you keep eating cheese and cabinossi in this fucking 40 minute I, podcast, you're going to so end up being heavy. <laughs> so this is what I want to bring up. He goes with the side-by-side -side stack, which makes sense. Those cheese those cheese squares are pretty big. You can't get a good uh, Well, yeah, that's the, that's the thing, is the cheese is the wrong shape. Which is a shame, because I just like buying the cubes. Yeah, it's fine. It's cube, cube, cube cheese. Keep, so, keep, and keep bigger. So you from and bigger. you eat from that size, so it's the same. Yes. Hmm. So you encounter all three tastes at the same time. Yeah. What do you do? Taste buds work like a conveyor belt? Like things just shovel back? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because if he was to eat that cabinossi first, the cheese isn't there to smooth it out. Yeah. It is. Because you, so you you you're meant to chew oh, the fruit. You can't oh. eat the whole fucking... What are they... Yeah. But you this is not comfortable. bitch. Because <laughs> yeah, then it goes to the sides. It's not good. Well, what you just did then. So surely the way you were eating it before was better, right? Than what you just did then. Uh, please feel free to comment um, in the general chat as to how you would That's ideally you eat a, um, a cheese and cabanossi platter. Um, but yeah, um, so that's where I am with tea. I don't think Super Heavy will copy hit at the moment, um, just because it'll diversify the meta a little bit. Um, Branded. Just ban Soul Armor if you're going to do that. That's true. Literally, with ban Soul Armor and the FTK doesn't work. Yeah, um, well, it's not even just the FTK. Like, if the boards are just super obnoxious, they might decide to address that as well. It's, it's very easy to hit with hand traps. True, and they don't really have a response for hand traps because they can't run spell and trap oh. other than um, prohibition. And even then, they have to call exactly the right hand trap. You call on Nibiru. Or you can just do the anti nib combo. The two card combo makes Baron 7 5. So I'm assuming you'd lose a bit in the meantime, though. Oh. Huh. Mm. Um, yeah, branded. I'm... A lot of people are calling for expulsion to get hit, but having read the new fusion again, um, it is just compulsion or expulsion rather on legs, so there's really no point. Um, if they're going to hit anything, maybe hit the gimmick puppet, maybe semi limit branded fusion if yeah, you felt like it, but also like literally the second the tier got hit because branded was then coming back into the fray, every deck started putting in Ash Blossom again. Primarily as an address to branded. Yeah, but now you have your ash for other things. Part of the issue you run into as well is if you don't ban expulsion, you also just leave it wide open for them to just send a different light or dark target that floodgates your opponent. Yeah, there's a few different targets as well. Like you can hit puppet, but then like you've got Rise Disciple, which is not as good. You've got um, Era the Magical Creature or whatever it's called. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of different things that achieve the same result, just maybe not as obnoxiously. Yeah, and that that's part of the issue, is, like, I think you probably just hit Expulsion and fucking say, make the new Fusion then. Sure. At least it wasn't super free. They, mm, it's free, yeah. but it, it requires you to go a different line with your, pro, with your place. Yeah, and, like, it's not as, um, like, a bigger plus as other plays because that new fusion does nothing like that's literally all it can do is expulsion effect the issue you run into is that if you do it in a way that you're interacting with lost like if you summon it off turn then your opponent can't respond at all whereas at least with expulsion they had the chance to respond with call of the haunted bell all that kind of nonsense yeah can you use the gimmick puppet as a material to make this monster yes Oh, not that particular monster. I think it needs a light monster so specifically. You just fucking crow it earlier. Or you remove it earlier. Yeah. Well, it depends on the, the the main combo line of it is you ideally get it banished. So, like, when you're making okay. Albion yeah. and going into Lebellion, you'll banish the gimmick puppet yeah. so that the material is already out. Okay. Continue. Continue. What's going anyway. on? What's get, wait, any more bets? Um, I can't think of anything else that really needs to be addressed right now. Like, those are your main contenders. Um, like the other big decks in the format, they're a little bit inconsistent. They're obnoxious. Like you've got Labyrinth, you've got Trap Tricks. Um, what else is in the meta right now? I can't even think. Those are the main ones, right? Uh, you've got Naturia and Runic. 
I, I can't see them doing anything to Runic right now. I want them to. The deck's really annoying. But I can't see them have, like doing Field, anything. Field Spell to 2? Maybe. Maybe Field Spell to 2. Oh, they don't like 2-2. Two, two most PCG, decks will run 2 anyway. Yeah. yeah, most decks just run 2. It went to 2 in the OCG and it's like, ha! Doesn't matter. Yeah. Maybe to 1 then. Yeah. I want them to do something to that deck, but I just can't see them doing it. Um, in terms of stuff coming off, um, I can see Redox. Mm -hmm. um, wait, is it Redox I'm thinking of? The oh. Fire one? Blaster is the Blaster, one. that's Yeah, Blaster is the one that can so come Blaster. back. Redox is the only one that's dodgy. I told... Mm. <laughs> Who that? It's going to be Jesse. Jesse? Yeah, I told him. Just walk up the stairs. Uh, it's Jesse. Yeah, I can see Blaster coming in because um, it seems they're pivoting back to like a bunch of fire support with the upcoming volcanics, the salad, the battling boxes, and um, like you've got the heater um, searcher for fires as well. Um, the OCG also had a comeback recently, I think, as well as Master Duel. So I feel like they've now decided that this Dragon Ruler alongside Tempest, Tempest yeah. aren't problems anymore. Although. Blaster was the one that can destroy stuff, right? Yeah, who cares? Everything can destroy stuff. Actually, Redox probably can come back too. Every like heaps of stuff reborns. They can all like, go to one. Uh, titles weird, isn't they it? They can all go to one. Mm. I don't know. It's fine. Titles dodgy, I'm pretty sure, from what I remember. But yeah, all to one. Let me play. I won't play Dragon Balls. Oh. <laughs> I might. I mean, there's, like, if you think about the amount of dragon support that's come out since Dragon Rulers, you could make it just super obnoxious. Yes. Yeah, so many dragons. and It's fine. It's fine. Just ban the babies again. Just do the switch. Aren't the babies still banned anyway? No, the babies are at three. Oh, okay. They did the switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they did hit the babies at one point, right? Yeah, yeah the yeah. babies were the hit first. Oh, so like, ah, you can't search for them. Like, haha, we're yeah. playing three of them if you need. <laughs> yeah, it was three of all of them, and then they limited them, and then they still went on, and then they banned them. All of them at one was pretty good, to be honest. Like, that was still, like, really fun. I miss it. Well. <laughs> You're very undecided about Dragon Ball. Yeah. I'll play them. Oh, no way. Um, yeah, um, other stuff that can potentially come back, or other thing that can potentially come back for one. Orcus Hub Horror. Just let it go. Let me have it. I was looking at it, that's around it doesn't, here somewhere. Like, if you look at the amount of other nonsense we have in this yes. format, and the fact that Tyr is, like, all but dead, it, bring back my boy. Not you, in rare. If you eat it, Jerome will, Jerome will bring it up to be honest. You reckon the super... I wasn't... I was never too impressed by the supers, but it also the, the rare does look wrong. Yeah, it's not nice. Like, huh. particularly when the artwork focuses on like light coming through windows when it looks when it's common it just bleh, doesn't this way i'm i'm sure the super of um hub botches the light coming through it's all it's all heaps dark in the background it just makes it pop yeah i'm we'll also okay out. with this but anyway um yeah like you look at the absurdity of the meta right now i don't think someone summoning a dark machine monster from the deck that effectively locks them into doing link stuff to get anywhere is really going to hurt anybody just let me have it. Yes. Um, and potentially change of heart could come to two. Yeah, I was thinking change of heart, but they like to keep those power spells at. There goes Jesse. Do you have Banley's predictions? Uh, kill catch Tira. Let's have a decent matchup against Tira. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have my proper Cyber Dragon cards yet. <laughs> Think of those shoes on the white lounge. Oh, sorry. Yeah, change of heart. I mean, change of heart definitely could go to two, but like, like with heaps of other stuff, it's is it just a just leave it at one? Sure. You could leave it at one, but like, I don't know. I could see them bringing it to two. I mean, I mean, I would like to. I'm thinking of sliding in pearly and just go. You give me that. And yeah. Now give, give, I give, use give, it give. <laughs> for my nefarious and things. And can attack. Yeah. True. Um, yeah, that's really all I could see changing with uh, current things, and I feel like that would address it for the most part. I can't see them doing a big 
Banley leading nah, up to Worlds. That's maybe recording. post Worlds. Bring back Verte. Never. <laughs> Is that still <laughs> recording, Jesse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Could, Verte answer, could come answered back. that question already. Did he? Yeah. yeah. I thought he answered you guys. No. Uh, I don't think that. Only machine monsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for for Red <laughs> Plant. Red <laughs> Plant loves certain <laughs> fucking fusing machines. It's a cybernetic Verte Anaconda. Only let it summon dark fusions. Oh, like. daddy. Anyway, Frank, your predictions. Metamorphs is one. It's not gonna happen, bro. No. We've oh. discussed this before. Yeah. It's perfectly fine. And my opinion hasn't changed on the subject. Uh, Potagree could probably go to three. Not Potagree, the other one. <laughs> Potagree's eyes could probably go two to three. Mm-hmm. I was... Is there any... I, I just can't make up my mind of... Is there any power, power spells left to come back? Giant two name? That can. No. Oh, that can? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> the issue with the big power spells now is you've got thrust, so you can search the big power one so anything that was like oh if you had it as a one of it'd be fine no longer the case you cannot have busted one of anymore virtual would be like t0 if giant trainer came back actually that's pretty fucked uh, i'm not sure i'm not sure, entirely sure if i'm sold in a maxi thing i would also like konami like ever since this website changed to let me scroll across yes it's it, it's you know work it's so shit the and new website like, it's is mobile so friendly no robots can get both themselves does that happen to you as well you can't see yeah. the other side okay, yeah it's not just me. no it's um it's been killing me uh orange light could go to three yeah at least two fossil dig to two maybe i don't know if they'll pre-hit dinos i feel like with the amount because we've effectively got three sets that have dino stuff in them or maybe two Oh, two, yeah. to, two to three sets that have dino stuff coming out i don't think that they want to nerf that pre-sales they might do that afterward but what if you've got dino dna <laughs> then you've got three sets to support <laughs> and then you got it gets banned the first set the second set and your birth technically conception <laughs> um <laughs> i'm gonna go to limb set pearly lee to one now yeah. The common that yeah. just came out? Yeah. Already? Yeah, I was, I was hinting at it before. I'm like, there has to be a reason they made both of the new ones commons. I don't. I, They're ready do to lay really the boot in. Do they really need to pre hit Oh, no, they don't need to. But they will, because they hate me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm kind of. There's no other reverse courses I was keen on from last set, and what do you think happens with Brilliant Fusion? Let's just come and sit there for a while. I don't want it back. I think it's going to sit there for a long time. It's searchable now. Yeah. It is searchable, and if you could be fucked, it can get you to things in tier. Because Brilliant Fusion, as I've said on previous Bandless podcasts, should just stay there forever. I never want to think about it again. But I also know that there's... A little bit of a market for it. I think. Don't get me wrong. I'd be super happy if it ever came back. I've been looking at three ulties that I had since like the month before it got hit. It's um, such a pretty ulti. Yeah, it's not that blue, is it? Um. <laughs> but for a point of context, we there's a there's a stadium like just across the road here, and there's a game currently being played at the stadium. It's on the TV, so it's like clear blue skies there, not clear blue skies out our window. <laughs> It's not right. Yeah. CGI, it's isn't it? It's fake! Ah, oh, yes. Football is fake! Yeah, it's all fake. All scripted. Uh, yeah, besides Metamorphosis... Nah, there's nothing I want to come back. You can't bring anything back with Thrust. Yeah. Any power spells. Any thrust, of the power spells. Um, all the traps. traps. Yeah, legit. Card's so good. I'm surprised we haven't played Trap Dust Shoot. As a searchable target. Is it trap dash or drop off the one that's still legal? Drop off. Drop off. I was gonna say. Wait, isn't drop off a counter trap? No. Is it? No. no it's, not. Oh, it's drastic drop off that's a counter, right? Yeah. That card would cause so many game losses. Opponent draws for turn and shuffles their hand, you chain drop off, they lose. They you call judge. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Here we are. Do it. 
play drop off. Yes. Uh, Shark your opponent would drop off. <laughs> yeah, well, look, they've kind of got the... the going through the list, uh, it's kind of tight. Like, everything, I'm like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I think I've decided what I'm playing with YCS next year. Yeah. I'm going to play Shark deck. Oh. Just 40 cards in the main deck that cause my opponent to get Judge Called. And then nothing but Shark cards in the extra deck. What a superb thing to announce on a uh, podcast that uh, at no, least no, no. 200 people a week see. All of, all of these cards are cards that are perfectly fine for me to play, but if my opponent does not play Yu-Gi-Oh correctly, it will result in them getting game losses. Surely, yeah. This is the most obnoxious shit I've ever heard. Not you calling for the judge call? Yes. But that's intent. Yeah. No, no, my opponent is the one who's not playing the game correctly. I'm simply playing cards that interact the way they're supposed to interact. My opponent is cheating. Yeah, so here's the problem with that. Not so much the fact that, like, your thing is quote-unquote fair and legal. It's more the <laughs> fact that you've told people already that you as a person are going to be going in... Um, how do I put this? Actually, I'm not going to put it nicely. To show. You're going in to be a cunt, um, and you're showing your face. And? The people, pe- second people see you, they'd be like, oh, it's this fuckhead. That's fine, then I lose. <laughs> I didn't say I was there to win. <laughs> That's like one of those I was going to say, you're missing the key part where I'm there to win. It's like one of those blokes that knows the age of consent in every state. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cyberjack could go to three. Yeah. Can I give my podcast my predictions now? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to copy us? No. Uh, expulsion band, Diabolus band, uh, Unicorn to one, Sprite starter to one, uh, oh, Fountain to one. one. Uh, blasted a one. I've forgotten one of the cards I wanted to put to one. Um, shit. Uh, limited. Uh, semi limited. Ancient fairy dragon. Uh, two, three. Uh, Pot of desires and Lyra Lost Crusader Starling. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't sure on the recital, so I just left it. Yes. I think it's fine at two. Can I add birth to mine? At, at two at three, it's the same card. No, because that's copying Ben. I didn't say birth. You did say birth. You said unicorn, didn't you? You said both. You said both. Um, D boys band. You we have, have to check the one. Yeah, I don't. Th- I, I didn't hear him say birth. both. No. I heard you say both. Well, I said both then at the same time. Starter, fountain. What have I forgotten? What's the other good deck? Like that fountain I have one. Here? Fountain to one. Yeah. yeah. Skill drain to one. Yeah. I hope for that, but I just know they won't. Skill drain to one. Nah, no, fuck yes. <laughs> Get out. No way. Why Skill drain to one. Why would they? Because yes, you did. It's they had it for a lot longer than us. Quite a lot of decks at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Too many skills are coming out. They got to drain. Why, why would you? <laughs> why would you make the skillless decks yeah, less skills, powerful? Drain it. Um. Yeah. So that's my bandless prediction. Oh uh-huh, no, is that? Oh wait, is that uh, one jet left? I still got a jet left. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and I only have two God, pieces of Aussie yet. I've your <laughs> cheese jet. Uh, Cabanossi ratio is way off. Yeah, it's because they give you a fuckload <laughs> of cheese in the back. Uh, yeah, but um, hopefully we get that list soon. Uh, be interesting to see, but feel free to, again, jump in our Discord and let us know what you think will be happening with the ban list. Yeah, uh, I want to crown an audience participant, which I didn't do last time because I forgot. 17th of May is where it's going to drop. Oh, that's a big call. You don't think uh, that is <laughs> That is by an AI chat. Yeah. <laughs> Someone Snapchat asked it. AI. Oh, oh they said, yeah. They uh, said, the yeah. So uh, keep your eyes peeled because if it is, does launch, uh, Snapchat no, is secretly owned by Konami. Seven, 17th of May for a legal date of the twenty first, twenty second. It just said that it'll release on the seventeenth of May. No, I'd, I'd pay that. Seventeenth of May for a twenty second legal date. Yeah, Where? I'd one hundred percent pay that. Oh, I mean, it wouldn't know the announcement date, surely. How would it know? How would it know? Well, it depends on how the question was phrased. Because, I mean, it has access to, like, everything that's ever been typed, right? Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Um, When is the next Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list due is when it was typed. Um, And it says, looks like uh, due to be released on May 17th. (laughs) I Yeah, I 100% pay that. That timeline-wise seems perfectly accurate. so fucking funny if it actually did. Like... Fuck it, the Yu-Gi-Oh community will just go into meltdown because they think the AI can predict everything. I'm surprised I haven't seen anyone ask what um, will actually get hit and just see the absolute nonsense it'll talk. That can be the audience participation. 
Yeah. Well, I'll get I'll get Chat GPT right on the chat. Oh, that's not the right. My head's fucking. <laughs> my head's thinking of snacks. I'm out of jets. I mean, I All don't I've know if we've one ever piece been awesome in that cheese. regard. <laughs> My head is always thinking of snacks. Anyway, uh, we move on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, oh. link will be in what? Do we want to talk about Tyler the, the Warrior first? Oh, Stop yeah, true. 490,000? Yeah, yes. yeah, Investigate 311. Um, USD. That's low. Lower than what I expected. I thought it would be around 1.2 mil. I thought it would go for at least a quarter, but so it made that. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I mean, and it's also good pricing for what a one of basically one card goes for. So, yeah. That being said, what sells for more, this or the one ring and magic? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, one ring will have to go for a mill now, then. Yeah. The main reason I think one ring would go for more is because you know that it's coming out and it's going to be in like near perfect condition, whereas Tyler. That's a, that's a, that's a complete gamble. Yeah, it's in a pack. It's just yeah, I, pack. Understand, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Like, you pull it and it's like, oh my god, this is fucking amazing. Yeah. But, like, I understand that the Tyler card obviously had its whole story around it, but at the at the end of the day, it was a seven-graded card. Yeah. Like, Who cares about the grade? It's one! <laughs> yeah, I don't think grade... This does raise a question of what matters in a one-of-one. One. If a card is a one-of, does grading matter? Surely not. Like, you would rather it be good. Yeah. But it's a one-of-one. One. Who cares? Like, what's, I mean, no one's going to come up with an 8 and go, yeah, sorry, I've got a, a great 8, Tyler the Great Warrior, unless it can his dicks about it. I could. That other one's going to other one's gonna turn up, surely. What will they do it in? No, they can't. Or can they? Imagine, imagine for the 25th anniversary they reprinted it. Oh my god. Tyler's <laughs> Tyler's Revenge. I mean, well, they probably can't because of the art, yeah? It's Kazuki Takahashi art. Yeah. Did and Kazuki draw it? I don't know. Yeah. Did he? Pretty sure. Okay. While stealing. Yeah, yeah just uh, <laughs> yeah. borrowing some ideas from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it was a tr- it's trunks and booze pants, isn't it? Yeah, effectively. I thought it was the lion guy from Digimon. There's a bit of lion in there. Yeah. That's what I think of when I see it. So he's not stolen from one company, he's stolen from two. Dos. <laughs> it's not stealing Both if you stole from properties. two people. <laughs> Cosmo. Welcome to Legal Corner with Ben Nolan. <laughs> no, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Wizard of Oz wasn't in copyright at that point, surely. Oh, I mean, you tell that, you try and convince fucking Disney of that, whoever owns the IP now, of the new shit. Surely Disney doesn't own that. No, Although they no, probably no, bought yeah. the company that used to own it. Yeah. <laughs> and then they made that weird movie with, um, oh my god. Mila Kunis. And oh, she was in it, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was I, I remember. She it. was the only reason I even bothered to watch it. It's not Jake. It's not Jake Gyllenhaal. It's James Franco. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was. God, he sucked in that movie. Mm-hmm. He sucked the whole movie sucked. Movies. Oh, actually, it had. Yeah, it did. Um... did, did. <laughs> yeah. Was it Jason State? Jason Statham's wife that was in it as well. I can't remember what her name is. Anywho, um, but yeah, it's one of the little munchkins. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she was the the good witch that wasn't actually a good witch. Oh, uh, yeah, that heals. The Good terrible. Witch of the West? I can't remember their fucking The Wicked Witch of the Wharf. The Wharf? The Wharf. Yeah, it had the, it had the rhyme, so they call it the Wharf. Yeah. So bad. The Wharf remembers. <laughs> Shh, shut the fuck up. You've spoken so much nonsense today. Holy fuck. <laughs> the fucking Wharf. Oh my god. Anyway. Read the questions. I am. As you may be aware, we have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, thank you to everyone who uh, sort of adhered to my last minute call for questions because it was looking a bit um, sort of bleak, but we now have heaps of questions. Right, was the first question long? A little bit. And then Jake asked for more questions. I did, yeah. We didn't have much news to discuss. Bring it to question. First question is from Skylanders. Has uh, he commented before? He has, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, so his first question is, uh, what are the things you enjoy most about Yu-Gi-Oh other than actually playing it, opening packs, going to locals, engaging in conversation, YouTube content, etc.? Apart from those things? Apart, no, no, apart from playing. Um, I don't know. I, I, um, I genuinely don't know. What do I enjoy? Do I enjoy travelling to events? Not really. 
I'd rather just the events be around the corner from my house, but I don't have a choice in that. Technically, I do have a choice in that, but anyway. I like everything up until walking in the door at YCS. Like, like hanging the- with the mates, testing, like, all that mm. stuff is so fun. Testing seems fun until you actually are doing it. What? And then only two people at the table are actually testing it. Everyone else is just talking shit. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, the social aspect of the game is pretty, um, appealing as long as you have a good group of people to do it with. Um, like, yeah, when you have serious testing things, it's quite good. Like when you actually sit down and actually think tank and deck and be like, okay, what do the ratios on this gun look like and all that kind of thing. And even outside of that, if you're just sort of like semi-casually testing, like if there's a regionals coming up that you're not taking 100% seriously, but you sort of can get some practice in, you play a couple of duels and then like, I don't know, you fucking do other nonsense, jump in the pool, go eat a nice lunch. I don't know. Um, the travel up and back from regionals is usually decent as long as it's not a huge travel thing. Um, like, yeah. See you in Queensland. Oh, yeah, there's Queensland too. Um, which I think most of us are going to. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you all at Oshis. If you see us, please come up and say hi. I've decided my one thing. It's not about dueling. It's about the friends you make along the way. Oh, fucking Christ. You've been letting him watch too much of fucking 5Ds. He hasn't pulled out that shit yet. My God, 5Ds is so bad for, like, that... It almost has reinforced that Yugi stereotype of every card is good. And, like... Every card is good. I'm gonna overcome the Even though my hand's being ripped to fucking shreds right now. And, like, I just didn't... I hadn't remembered dialogue from this that I have heard some people use and i'm like oh god so that's where they pulled it from because yeah there's just a few interesting characters in like the verse in this game and yeah a bunch of them are uc fanboys apparently yeah did we decide that five d's is the reason you have people at locals that are like ah oh, i don't have to explain my cards you'll find out when i play it yeah we were watching a segment just before the podcast and one of the characters legitimately said that it's it was just like, said it. yeah the main it. character like <laughs> oh you'll find out what my card does when i play it even though I've just added it to my hand, you should be able to read it right now. Um, oh, another aspect of the game that I um, kind of like, and these boys know it too well, is that I like cracking packs. Um, and it's a problem. Uh, sometimes. Jake has a problem. This is actually an intervention. I <laughs> remember. <laughs> um, yeah, and I like, I like getting nice rarity cards as well. Um, I've been decent with that lately, um, but we'll see how that pans out. Um, actually... I suppose it circles back. I did get a uh, new style out this week. I got the uh, Grand Wignol for Branded. Very nice. It actually looks so good. Uh, and now I have another two to get. <laughs> I see. This boy likes to max. He likes to max. To except the for, max. Except for Albaz. I don't like the ultis. I might end up getting the ultis just to maintain right, the high rarity, but I actually don't like like them. Yeah. The secret's nicer. Yeah. They are nicer. He's around here somewhere too. Uh, for mine, I, I like uh, Road of the King does it at the moment as well. Like we've mentioned them plenty on the show. Like reading their weekly updates, and like I just remembered, it's Shriek. It used to be Shriek OCG. That That's became what it used to be called. Yeah, it used to be became Yu Gi Oh organization. Uh, well, a couple of their admins. So yeah, following the OCG has been how I stand up with the game for most of the time. So just reading those reports, getting a lay of the land. Reading interactions, combos, and stuff. Not actually doing it because I'm, you know, I'm not there and I don't know, like, and I can't play Max C. So, but just keeping up with that's probably where it's just like once a week I'll commit about an hour of just, oh yeah, what's going on, and then I'm entertained and I'm not doing uh, hardcore drugs for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Again, a fantastic thing to say on a podcast where people know who you are. No, I'm saying like that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stops me doing drugs. <laughs> yeah, Bragg's not on crack because Yugi played Kaiba once. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because two random Japanese guys decided to bring some weird tech and I'll be like, why, why? How did they come to that conclusion? Yeah. <laughs> Man. It's harder than cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Next question from Skylancers is, if you sat beside your uh, podcast peers for the first time in locals, uh, just judging off first impressions, no matter from which format, what deck do they look like they play? <laughs> Ultra athletes. Is that hat? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> the back of that. I'm, in, I'm in my jock look, clearly. Um, 
I don't know. What would I get? Am I... I was so close to wearing a hat today as well because my hair's fucked. Well, that's the thing. My hair wasn't that bad, but I I was just looking on the ironing board as I was walking down the hallway to my bedroom, saw the hat sitting on it, and I was like, you know what? I'll I'll rock the hat today. Today's a backwards hat, JK Day. It is. Well, it's meant to be backwards hat me day because I have to keep this shit down, but... Nah. That looks pretty Anyway, But anyway, when we're considering Ben, are we considering with or without the moustache? Because I feel like that's an important distinction. I don't know. I see it all as I one. I never used to have the moustache. It's grown on me. It's how I'm going to try. It's coming nice. I was about to find out. Oh, let's go. Well, that's too loud uh, for uh, Bulldogs. He's going to yeah. drop it. Um, for Ben, hmm. Is he wearing a fire costume or not? <laughs> when I sit next to him at locals. <laughs> I wonder what this fireman would play. <laughs> Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't know if you're bad. What are, what are you... I don't know, because usually when he goes to tourneys and things as well, he's usually pretty dripped out. So, like, I would feel like he'd be playing something high rarity. Yeah. And in this meta, it's pretty much, like, you have a very small selection of, like, high rarity decks that are within the meta. So it'd be one of those. I could be playing Supreme Kings. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And Libramancer. No, I expect you'd be playing Pearly. Yeah, you look like a Pearly player. <laughs> I don't want to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't imply that. Didn't imply just, that. No just one... before we just before I know, I know what you're all thinking. He implies it in our chats all the time. If I look like a Pearly player, I am immediately going to say I am not going to fuck that cat. I did not have <laughs> sexual relations <laughs> with, with that the cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'll draft fleets for you. Yeah, that's a fair call. I, d- I don't know what a single one of them does. I know they bounce back to hand, but that's about it. Uh, next question comes to us from Ragai. Do you think there are any untapped deck themes or mechanics <laughs> left to explore? Well, tapping. Go to defense position, add uh, draw a card. Huh. Yeah. Like someone that size real mad. Um. Yeah, I guess he's a mad dragon supporter. Yeah, he's just seen that and yep. just ran from the stadium yelling. Uh, yeah, I mean, literally tapping cards for some benefit would be funny. Yes. I mean, Super Heavy kind of do that. Ooh. Do they? I haven't read them yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ben. Some of them uh, move themselves to defense mode in order to do a thing. Yeah, we did a we did a okay. bulk dive before this to I'll get all you. those old new ch- old. Oh my god, the fact that new challenges is old now is so fucked. I found thirty copies of Soul Piercer. Just got He's something. rich, rich. Go and pay for um. Go pay for drinks with them. All the super heavy samurai cards I found in my bulk should pay for my entire trip to Oceanics. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I kind of knew as well. Actually, those Super Heavy Samurais did have so much text back then that I kind of did, so, like, oh my, oh, they, they're going to do shit. Yeah, the fact that no one's been turned. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, so like, ah, this will never be relevant. I always thought decided to just Lutus break it. was going to be really good. Hmm. And then it's not. It's not, no. Nope, nope, nope. I always thought that would be the card. That, it's like, this is the broken card. No. It's so... I would like more done with... I think I alluded this uh, to this before as well. Like, more done with, like, um, Graveyard in terms of, like, being able to Synchro and Xyz and stuff like that. Maybe even Face Down Banished. I feel like something could be done with the Face Down Banished, but I feel like then we're crossing into territory that's, like, a little too far. I desire Synchro to Elements. <laughs> and then go, oh, I can Synchro Summon for my Face Down Banish. Yeah. Um, you could Synchro from Pendulum. Um, your Face Up Extra, maybe. I've always said my my random game mechanic that I've thought would be the next one, Chaos Summoning, where it's like Black Synchro's except you banish. Yep. New card mechanic. Cards that fl- um cards that are reversible as well. We're probably No, due- we can't do that. Surely we're due for it in twenty years though. Too many people are fucking idiots that don't use proper sleeves. Yeah, the problem is it's um discriminating against the casual market that don't sleeve, so extra deck monsters. Ah, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, and I don't want it. But it's just, it's something that they could approach eventually. Remember, they did release those cards in Master Duel, uh, uh, Rush Duel, 
double like the three headed dragon and it was like if you summoned all three they became one monster no yeah um like from outside of the game not from anywhere i'm not sure where the, how that worked yeah but it was like you it was like a gandora like is that the new Godala? the one with the three-headed t-rex yeah. uh the three-headed godzilla person Zor. <laughs> The god, the move from the movies. He does have three heads. They haven't done any combination cards. Is it Gandor? That'd be cool to see. Yeah, I there's... thought Gandor is the the Yugi card. The... No, there's there's Gandor a Godzilla the bad guy that has three heads. Which ones? What's it called? No idea what you're talking about. I thought you guys would know this. You sound like a crazy person. It's that. It's that. It's literally that as cards where you summon the three heads and then you make a new monster. I I feel, I feel like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually I. I Again, I think I've said this on the podcast when they were um, more recent, but I actually would like to tip the back of my hat, I guess, to the people in the TCG that came up with the Gate Guardian archetype. I think that they made it balanced enough that it was easy enough to access and not terrible. Like, it's not an amazing archetype, but at the same time, like, it's super low investment and it's fairly easy to understand. Hmm. I, I kind of like it. Okay. I, I get you, and I kind of like it too, but I haven't read it. They're good. No. It just does ABC um, Buster Dragon type summon. You just get rid of them and boom. Okay. Sure. Anyway, um, next question is from Zinthonian. Uh, what do you think of your entry for this year's Eurovision promised by Voyager? Wouldn't have a fucking clue. Oh, um, um, our Eurovision entry is good, but yeah. not great. Just yeah. good. And if they do well, I will support them by acknowledging their existence. I reckon we should up the stakes of Eurovision. If we get top three, we get led into the Euro. No, no, no. We don't. Oh, we don't want to. Whoa, 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 whoa! Just access to the market. Whoa. We don't want to be in the whoa. Euro. No one wants to join the Axis powers. It's fine. Let's let's just leave this. Speak for yourself. <laughs> it. No way. I, I used to really like Eurovision up until Australia joined. I haven't watched it since. <laughs> I went and saw one of the old Eurovision people in concert. Like, from another country. It was great. The... Got to meet the guys. It was Was the, the, uh, the saxophone guy? No, no, no. It I was like a, It was guy. like an Icelandic uh, throat singer and two other people. Oh, the Yodela. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, the guy was like Pitbull. It was like every time you expect Pitbull to yell Mr. Old Wide, he just started yodeling. And I was like, fuck, oh, this guy's on point. And actually worldwide. Yep. It was great. Good I got to, to meet the got to meet the band. Yeah. It was wonderful. I'm recording that there too. That's how I met anybody from Eurovision. We sent fucking Malboy one year, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. I think it was the first year. Well, yeah, and was then we sent Guy Sebastian. <laughs> Why are we sending people for? <laughs> we should be sending <laughs> We should be sending robots. <laughs> Why are we sending people? We should be sending robots and cats. Cats in robots. Uh, oh, that'd be a great archetype. Cats, cats in mechas. Yes, mecha cats. Sure, it's already a thing, right? Isn't that just pearly? There's no mechas okay. for it. It's the, the cat going to sleep. The extra deck's the mechas. Mm. It's where the x Oh, I guess it's kind of in black. Those gems are embedded in them. It's a they're so cool uh, if they ever get to a point where like the phantom of pearly and sky striker they're both dying off they just make fucking cat mechas and just combine the two oh! cat girl ray cat girl ray <laughs> <laughs> see what you've done ben you let us down this road <laughs> this is the darkest timeline <laughs> uh the next question comes to us from fro guy what is your personal most hated deck of all time? Doesn't even have to be good, just the deck you hated playing against the most. Phantom Knights. No. <laughs> it took a second for me to think Not new, new Phantom Knights? Fine. Don't give two fucks about New Phantom Knights. It's Trap Phantom Knight. Mm. Where you're playing... PK Fire? No, not even PK Fire. Just literally just the traps. Just the traps and Phantom Knight monsters. When it first came out. Uh, mine is probably <laughs> the Sky Striker once it got onto Mystic Mine. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's also really shit. It's a, it's on like top five shit decks, but number one is that. What fuck is? I'm kind of over my invoked hate now. It was pretty strong there for a while. 
I don't know why you hated it. You, I swear you like no, never no. versed me with it either. No, it wasn't because it wasn't just you. It was so many other like it was just all the time, non-stop, and they just had everything for Macabre. And when I would play, I'm just like, great, I got nothing. To, I got nothing to discard. Man, didn't even get like a ghost over his Go watch the first place deck profile on Nolan TCG. That was fucking years ago, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's still worth a watch. KC Carpark profile. KC, KC Carpark profile. Was good, uh. What else did I? I mean, the dark. The, I mean, the dark warrior link bullshit um, nightmare, like that. That drove me. Like it just oh, wasn't, like the gumbla combo. Nonsense. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't appealing to me whatsoever, and I just didn't interact with it. I just walked away. Like, yeah, and I don't know how in that format I walked away with wins playing pendulum when they were ripping my hand apart. Don't know how. I hate in the cross. I miss Goki. Yeah, so I didn't really like Goki either. I like Goki. They're cool looking. Yeah. Shit, though. I like the mechanic of them all just floating. Let me bring some back. I like not going neg. Yes. As yes. opposed to fucking pearling. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finding good discard engines so you don't completely neg when you're trying to summon a monster. There's no way this deck doesn't tank. If I'm looking for cards that discard... I was watching that. Then come pod. Apparently now you're not. Yeah. Next question. Next question is from Rye Guy. If you could keep one monster with you at all times, like Ash does with Pikachu, what no. would you pick? Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> not the worst though. She could um no. she could assist with magic. Uh-uh. Oh yeah. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> um Cook your I'd... meal with magic. I think we alluded to this with a question similar either last week or the week before. Um, like if we could keep a monster as a pet. Yeah. Yeah, my answer would be the same. I'd keep Parrot Dragon. Thousand Eyes is strict, so I could just suck off all my problems. Does it have to go with you everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> that choice of words specifically? Really? <laughs> You're the one taking it like that. It's like Ash with Pikachu is the phrase, so I assume, yes, it kind of has to be with you everywhere. Damn. We can't have Paradragon with you everywhere. We've been over the this. The fuck it's I can't? It's too big. <laughs> yeah, it's big enough that no one's going to disagree with me if I try to bring a giant fucking bird dragon in the building. Really? Oh, sorry, Wait. do you have a problem with Stompy here? You could deck Paradragon easy. Look at you just... Oos, oos, oos. All right, Lachlan, calm down. Yeah, I'll fight him. <laughs> Dragon who parrot. Would, who would win brag or a ten foot dragon? That's not ten foot, it's only Parrot Dragon's only like five foot. It's not big. Yeah, yeah it's just big by parrot standards. It's big by Jake standards. Fuck you, mustachio pedophile <laughs> fuck. Hey. Uh I mean something that could fly you places so you wouldn't have to spend money on trade. Like Parrot Dragon. You can't fly on Parrot Dragon. Man, fly. You're I... putting a lot of restrictions on Parrot Dragon you... with no basis. Man pulls up no his Parrot Dragon. <laughs> Just you flying up to work on Parrot Dragon. Yeah, fuck the traffic. I'm on my parrot. I'm trying to think of a of one that would make my life easier. Surely you just pick the rescue ace boss monster. Emergency teleport. And you'd just be no. running around town going, Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> <laughs> then you have time that so would you be funny. Have to no. No. Nah, I can't say Ash. Um, then you're holding this up. Look, I don't know. If I choose a dragon maid, do I get both forms? No. <laughs> oh. so which, okay, like, which, what, have... yeah, which dragon maid would you need help with? I got kitchen. <laughs> yeah, you, you either go with like kitchen or house. Chamber. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the second he brought up Dragon Maze, it was a terrible line to go down. You know what? Laundry Dragon Maid. You don't need help with your laundry. Yeah, but it's got to have a use for fucking something. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the rest are busy being useful in the deck. Oh, yeah. No, master. Stuck in the washing machine. No, Jesse. No. Stop. I We're going to top loader. Stop. 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 <laughs> Stop. Stop. I like next... that show, though. It was, next... it was a fun show. Next, Except but... Mr. Seb constantly was like, there's action coming soon, guys. <laughs> and we just watched the entire show. And we're like, what the 
No, that wasn't. I said the action is good, and it is. No, so that's the thing. So, was like, the action's good. So every time action happened and it was a letdown, we were like, oh, well, the next one's gonna be better. <laughs> Next question, again from Ryguy. If you had to pick one CPG member or associate to be the only person you could duel with for a year, who would it be? Not at all. Never. You would hate it. I would beat you twice and you're like, I'm never dueling again. Because then I know that I just have to play against Brandon. Yeah, that's who you're for. Yeah, if you, if you choose Jake, you just have to play against one deck. Yeah. No, he'll change mid-year. Possibly. So what? Laundry? Appliances? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Laundry. What will you change to later this year? So we've got because we've got dinosaurs. Not touching that. Nope. Jake can't there was nothing in the August pack. Go back to Anissa's. Hmm? I'm gonna give Anissa's again. Can Anissa's play firewalls? Probably. Up. Oh. I mean, I played with Lockhorn for pretty much a year. And I never want to again. <laughs> uh, no, Logie's an idiot. Testing against that group is brutal. Yeah, I mean, I like. Nah, I'm too stupid. Like, I'll just yeah, because I I like where in testing you need to swap around decks and stuff, and yes. just yeah, I'll mind blank and go. I've got to learn this without getting patient. No one chooses me. I play against Brad. Yeah, I'd play against you. A bit of, a bit yeah, of a... bit of low res. Low res for a year. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we have we have the same dueling ideas when it comes to playing the year. So. Yeah, let's do it. Let's not, not to play. Let's do it, but not this year. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> ben, who would friend. you choose? Yeah. I'd just choose to do solitaire by myself. I, lol. For a year. <laughs> a year of solitaire, a year. Year of playing with himself. Me just resolving FTKs <laughs> against a brick wall. Year of master duels. How entertaining. Oh. Um, who would I choose? I mean, he would hate it at this point, but I'd probably choose Lewis. Mm. Oh, I mean, in Pokemon, like, oh, if Lewis is there, I'm like, fuck yes, I can. He hasn't. He has all the decks that like we can play with. He doesn't suck. It's not Josh yelling at you, telling you your minor deck choices are incorrect. Your one of is wrong. What would you replace this with? A one of, but I don't know. <laughs> All right. Yes, what would despite you... having the continuously wrong opinion, they are very strong from Josh. What would yes. you choose? Pay you have to pay two hundred thousand dollars to I don't know a nameless government, or Where play Josh for a year. Oh God! <laughs> Can I do it in installments? Government? It's fucking painful, bro. Uh, it is. His death profile on the channel. You can. Uh, third question from Ragai. What are the decks you wanted to try but missed your chance? Like maybe they were only good for a format, but you didn't try it in time. Uh, I didn't get to play enough Zoo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you were like dying. Yeah, I died. Literally. Yeah, Jesus confirmed. I mean, confirmed. I've missed. Yeah, I, I've built decks and missed formats, but I haven't really felt bad about it. Like I got to play Zoo a little, but I only probably got to play like three, maybe four locals of Zoo. That's so sad. Pendulum. Fucking Pepe. Yeah. That's the one I... I really wanted to play that, um, that 60 card pile with, like, Hauk and, uh, um, adventure stuff. Or, oh, um, uh, base, yeah. base, whatever. Yeah, base. I yeah. really wanted to play that. It was just so expensive. I, um, I mean, I played it for two locals. Why not? Yeah. It looked, it looked fine, man. Just, like, Since Fire Engine has three foils. Cyber's Gadget best. Bring it back. Um, I didn't get to play D as much as I wanted to when it was first released, just because it was a super small window mm. of when it was viable. Mm. So yeah. I would have been mind to have played it more when it was actually good. And then by the time it got its like um, War and Peace level um, epilogue of combos <laughs> in the most recent sets, I was like, I'm not interested in reading any of this. Um, yeah. Next question. Zinthonian asks. Cards are now like the lickable wallpaper from Willy Wonka. What does each card type taste like? Fire hot. Fire hot. <laughs> Fire indeed. So I'm hot. assuming it's monster spell trap that he's talking about. 
Yeah, sure. Oh, um, no. Drops taste like grape. Uh, spells taste like grape. <coughs> Monsters taste like. Hmm. Piss. Yeah. <laughs> My feet is like grape again. <laughs> no. I answered. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. XDs would taste like um, black jelly beans. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I don't like XDs. <laughs> yeah. Which and a seed. Fusions like licorice? Wait, nah, is it? I feel like fusions would be Hubba Bubba, like a fucking classic baby. <laughs> Hubba Bubba's a bit brighter, isn't it? Fusions are a bit dark. Oh, grape. like a deep grape. Like the, like the Fanta. Grape. More yeah, grape, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, black currant. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd give it black currant. You know, squeezy black currant. purple pack. Um, what have we associated them all? <laughs> no, no, no. What have we associated them all? <laughs> Cordials. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you didn't hear that, synchros tastes like boiled chicken. <laughs> What's the other extra duck type? Um, links. Um, what do links taste like? Blueberries. Yeah. I was going to say, like, they kind of taste like, um... Rituals? No. Out-of-date blueberries. Would the red arrows taste... Would the arrows taste... Have their own little thing? Like a little well, I was going to say kick? that, like, it's like when you, um... Lemon? Lemon? No, I'm not going to say it. He's not going to say it. I don't know. I feel like that's pretty much covered it off. Okay. Half of them taste like blueberries, but that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Would you um, want to lick a lightning storm? <laughs> Like, uh, like, a battery on the tongue. Like sour. Yeah. Like, ugh. Yeah, but it would kill you. What's next, Jake? Next question is also from Zinthonian. What kind of spin off Yu Gi Oh game would you like to see made? Like uh, the Ranger slash Dungeon series or Conquest for Pokemon? Um, Colosseum. Like wouldn't Pokemon. Mind. Yeah. Yeah. Like Pokemon Colosseum? Oh, so it's just you play the game oh. and you have proper 3D sprites? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I would like to see like an open world of the law, mm -hmm. except for some of them would take forever. I was gonna say Starfrost running around with your little bowl cut. Who's the protagonist? In what? Of all of you, you. The Pharaoh. No, 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 no. For like the cards, who is the protagonist? Kariba. Yeah. Sure, it's quite agreed. Three with a protagonist. Yeah. Now, Potter Green's like an artifact, surely. It's just a, a enchanted item. Whatever that oh, goblin guy yeah, is. The goblin that has Potter Green. The goblin yeah. is the protagonist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the emperor. Or is he just the merchant? Yeah, the clothes. Nani? <laughs> yes. Who? Ash. She's the protagonist. I don't know, maybe like DD Warrior Lane. <laughs> Is Celtic Guardian the protagonist? She goes through all like the different like portals and shit. So she's going through like the different like into different dimensions and shit and She hasn't had a retrain in a bit though, has she? It's you know what I mean? Marauding Captain's the protagonist. He's been in heaps. Yeah. Marauding Captain's the protagonist. Marauding Captain summons DD Warrior Lady. <laughs> yes. And Gaga Giga. Gaga Google, Giga, Gigas. I want to find that YouTube channel. I reckon you. I reckon that YouTube channel that used to do the the deadpan reading of all the laws gone because now I can I can't find them anymore. Oh yeah, Freed. Freed might be. Freed potentially. Nah, Freed's an idiot. Or maybe even Sangan. Burning impatience. Yeah. Sangan has a long line of cards that he's in. Yeah, Sangan's Sangan could be the protagonist. Comment. In the Discord or below, who do you think the protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh is? Ben loves a law story, particularly if it doesn't actually involve any law. <laughs> which, which, oh. who appears in the most amount of cards? If anyone's watching Captain? the new Pokemon series, hit me up in the Discord DMs. I want to bitch about them. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is relevant to the discussion here at hand. It's so stupid. Is Marauding Captain in Dimensional Barrier? I think yeah. so. I think he's yeah. in the foreground. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Utopia coming through? No, it's Go 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 Go
So, if you've commented already, delete it. <laughs> we don't want to see your bullshit yeah. opinions. You're not wrong. <laughs> I've decided. Yeah. So I'm right. lights. We're on TV. Um, Two TV. Cowboy. That's the protagonist of ours. Yeah. Although I did get roasted because um, in the comment section someone made a graphic of like a um, Yu-Gi-Oh fighting game. Mm -hmm. And they had like the character selection screen. That was Jacob? And, huh? It was Jacob? Oh, sick. Yeah, it's super cool. Um, but I got roasted because I didn't pick Gaga Cowboy. I picked Avram. He's always... Awesome, look, if if we... if Jake wasn't here for the naming of the channel. Yeah, if this podcast started, I'm sure you would have done some crusade of fucking... It, it wouldn't have been, have been out by then. Alba. Alba's for game. Actually, look, <laughs> looking at the ones that are here, um, Gaga Cowboy wouldn't even be my third. Jake was on a character selection screen. You just see the top of his hat. The Pharaoh, real. <laughs> Where's Golden Lord? Is he there? <laughs> right, you wouldn't see your head. The rest of your body would take up the frame. Oh my lord. That's so you're savage. getting aggressive. I'm just gonna fight. Have we met? Um, what time is it? Like Didn't he got... call him a bad person at the start of this episode? Uh, probably. Down now, how about. Comment down below. Comment down below. Jake's a bad person. Yeah, we'll start a poll. <laughs> can, can I start? I'm 100% a bad person. <laughs> Anyway, that concludes us for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching us on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're listening to us, please favourite us on your streaming service. Uh, jump into our Discord. Um, interact with us um, in the seven different ways we've asked for this week. And we'll look forward to chatting to you all again next week. Peace.